Ontario's Algonquin Provincial Park is not only about tourism and outdoor recreation, there's also some important research being done in this jewel of the north. Terry Belke takes us to the outdoors. At almost 3,000 miles, Algonquin Provincial Park is a massive and very wild place. Though it attracts tourists from around the world, it's also a hub of important research into the natural world. The Wildlife Research Station, located on the southern rim of the park, has been in operation since 1944 and has contributed an enormous amount to our understanding of the Canadian ecology and beyond. It really is a place that's meant to be untouched um, for not only reference purposes, for developing stream quality references, uh, forest and wildlife references, uh, but uh, really to just be this untouched place where people can come and do research and then compare it to other places that have varying degrees of human impact on them. Over its long history, the station has conducted numerous wildlife studies and many of them have spanned decades. They have the advantage of doing these studies over 30,000 acres of pristine wilderness, which has been set aside exclusively for their use. When you are able to look at things over such a large geographic area, and then look at things over many, many years, you start to understand how forest type and animal uh, species abundances or diversity change through time. That knowledge is particularly important when trying to chart ecological shifts such as climate change, the station has also published great amounts of peer-reviewed publications. But the station is also having an impact in another way. Universities are able to take advantage of the facilities educating future stewards of the planet. A lot of people are getting their first experiences in a place like this, and it really has a major impact on uh, the roles and the, uh, the employment opportunities that they seek out in the future. Jeremy Fromanger is a professor at Georgian College in Toronto. He's been bringing students to the station for almost 15 years. He's seen its effects firsthand. One of the big things is it helps to really make a link between something that they read in a textbook that could be you know, somewhat abstract or dry to, to their own world. And what's exciting is a lot of these students then go back home and talk to friends and family, people that aren't necessarily really keyed into environmental issues. And it, it creates a, 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 it opens dialogue, which is important. Though hidden in a deep northern forest, the impact of the Wildlife Research Station is one of resounding importance. Nobody's trying to get rich off of this. This really is for a better understanding of the wildlife, uh, which ultimately is a part of our cultural and natural heritage that we pass on to future generations. Reporting from Ontario's Algonquin Provincial Park, taking you to the outdoors, I'm Terry Belkey.